WRC 2004, changing times in the sport. New to the calendar, Sardinia, replacing the infamous San Remo as the championship's Italian round. This was the 13th of 16 events in a season which witnessed the emergence of a new star. Victory here in the Citroen Zara would take Sebastian Loeb a big step closer to his first World Drivers' Championship. Many more would follow. One driver had other ideas, reigning champion Petter Solberg, who needed to win in Sardinia to keep the title race alive. The Subaru star would dominate the event from start to finish. Loeb, his nearest challenger, one mistake from either on the narrow, rugged tracks would prove costly. I'm surprised how fast Petter was going, he really was setting some good times again. No, because I, I don't try really to, to make any time, I'm just driving, so no, it's okay. Were you going a bit too quick this morning, do you think? No, no. Everything worked out very well. I just good confidence and feeling. The car feels very good. Second stage, I was, you know, very slow because it was very bad and my pace was not good. So, but it was really good fun. Very good. Good fun and a successful event for Solberg and co-driver Phil Mills taking their fifth win of the season. Victory to Solberg and Subaru, Loeb runner-up, but there would be no denying the Frenchman the ultimate triumph, going on to celebrate the first of his nine world titles. Completing that first Sardinia podium in 2004, Loeb's teammate Carlos Sainz approaching the end of a glittering career and helping Citroen to take the manufacturer's title. Also among the competitors in Sardinia that year, a familiar name, increasingly so these days, Robin Pera, as in Calais' father, Harry, hitting a spot of bother in his Peugeot 307. We don't have any gears, we have to stop on the stage. Okay. Gearbox broken in a few cases before that place, and uh, first I lose, I think so second, and, uh, and after that third gear, I say, this is uh, really broken now and his car is not moving. Enter Marcus Gronholm in the sister Peugeot, second behind Solberg, until his 307 went the same way. Uh, the engine is completely dead. We are driving now with first gear and even with flat full throttle and power, there is, nothing happens. It's, uh, it, it goes very slowly. Can you tell me any news? What is what are these uh, numbers? Thousand in the first and any and the helpful. Ron home going on to catch up with his teammates stage side to compare notes. The Finns finished. Robin Perry Jr. will be hoping for better this year. WRC Plus, all live.